Okay, so this is a new drawing that I just did, and it's called the Human Magneto Lattice. Probably not the best name, but anyway, um, what I've done with this drawing is taken. It's not really finished, and I was. I don't even know if I'm going to finish it. I just wanted to, you know, illustrate the principle, which is. I had done a, dra a drawing previously called the magnetic lattice of reality and um, and a range of other drawings um, illustrating, demonstrating, uh, you know, a, a pr this theory of, of magnetism, um, pan magnetism, quadrupole magnetism, whatever the correct terminology is, magnetism is the underlying fundamental force of everything. And I mentioned that the there was a theory of magnetism of Albert Roy Davis and Walter C. Rawls of two separate magnetic spins, one clockwise, one anti-clockwise. Now, what happens is when you take that principle, the, 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 the principle of two magnetic spins, one north, one south, one clockwise, one anti-clockwise, and you, you lay it out three-dimensionally, what you end up with is a, a single principle that could potentially define and describe everything in nature in a, in a bi simple binary fashion, which is that you would always have an alternating magnetic spin. So the basic concept is what I'm kind of loosely calling 1-6, which is for every magnetic spin that you have say a north it's always going to have no less than six south spins all the way around it one above it one below it and then you know north south east and west and it's the same whether the spin is north or south it's always going to be one surrounded by six so um so what, what I have here is here's the human form with all of these north and south. These are just, you know, N and S, you know, north-south spins. And you can see kind of the south one standing out, the north one standing out. And you can see kind of this lattice of, and I didn't complete it in all parts of the body, but I got, you know, the legs mostly and the torso. And so you have this lattice of uh, magnetic current flows. So you have these alternating magnetic spins throughout the, the whole system. You know, uh, north surrounded on all sides by six souths, and, or a south spin surrounded by six norths. And so it's this continuous three-dimensional lattice that would describe not only the human form, but nature. Um, now, the, the basic principle is, as I said, is spin and then counter spin. So at every point, all you're trying to do is you're taking one spin, a north, and then you're, doing the, you're going either horizontally or vertically and doing a counter spin. So you, if you do a north, then you do a south, south, then north, so on. And you, you have these alternating north-south spins. Now, what's interesting is when you look at the actual patterns that can develop from these this basic pattern or structure, this binary pattern or structure, um, you have a number of things that uh, patterns that you can see that you can you know see in this this process. So you have diagonal uh, magnetic current flows. You have double helix magnetic current flows, and then you have di uh, diamond uh, magnetic current flows. And you, that might not be clear, but if you look closely, you can see the diagonals running down, and you can see the diamond patterns right, you know, kind of central to it. And, of course, running throughout it are the, the double helix or zigzag kind of patterns. Um but what's interesting, there's one more thing, which is you can see the veins. So, for instance, you can actually, if you look at these arms right here, you can actually see that you can see the pattern, the underlying pattern, magnetic pattern for 
the configuration of, of veins along the arms and presumably along the whole body. And you could probably um, map out not only you know not only these other magnetic current flow patterns, but the actual veins of the human being just by mapping out the magnetic um, spins and magnetic current flows correctly. So just another little drawing just to kind of try to uh, two-dimensionally do everything that I can possibly do and I still need a 3D model and um, if I had the money I'd pay for it to be done so that's it thanks